Shalom and welcome to a new series of Living Supernaturally. This week ahead, we are going to be looking at a very vital part of what God made in us, our emotions. For many of us, the realm of emotions is an uncharted territory. And sometimes we neglect or we fear to even look into the area of our emotions. When we look at scripture in Genesis 1.26, it says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. When God created us in his image, he created us with the vital part, our emotions and our feelings. Emotions are a good gift from God. And He is the one who has created us as feeling beings. And when God created us with emotions, He created it to serve a purpose. Just like He gave us a mind to think, a will to make decisions, in the same way He gave us feelings so that we could respond. So why did God make us with these emotions? We see that God gave us emotions so that there is an added pleasure and richness in the way that we live our lives, in the way that we see our lives. God did not make us like machines, where, um, but, but He did want us to enjoy things that we see around. For example, you know, what if we didn't have, a jo have the joy when we ate an ice cream? Or if we did go out for a trip Suppose we didn't have that excitement or um, finding even comfort when we are in the midst of people. So when emotions were given to us, it was to help us to appreciate the finer things of life. Even difficult or hard emotions also helps us to see the realities of life like feeling disappointed when we fail a test or we fail at some area of our lives or when we have a, a loss in our relationships or even when we find it hard to do certain things. These difficult emotions help us to move forward. It helps us to move better and in newer directions. So God gave us these emotions to really see and uh, find out what the richness of life is. God also gave us these emotions to help us understand what goes on inside of us and to get in tune with who we are. It gives us a greater awareness of what really God made us to be. Emotions also helps us, motivates us and energizes us to do things like when we may have compassion that is filled within us to probably help somebody who is in need, or um, a sense of dissatisfaction when we, when we are faced in our relationships. And this alerts us to become better. The truth is that God gave it to us as a gift, and it is to be appreciated and employed in every area of our lives. So we can glorify the Lord with our feelings. We, we need to obey and honor Him even with these feelings. Only when we truly believe that, that this is God's gift to us, we understand that our emotions can be used in a way to glorify Him. So today, let's figure out how our emotions can glorify God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this very vital part of our lives. Thank you that it is a good gift that you've given us. May we use it not only to understand and motivate ourselves to doing things, but also use it in a way to glorify and honor your name. We thank you once again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.